All right, everyone, I have a special Vlogmas today. I got my iPhone right here, first time recording. I made the vlog earlier today and it just didn't come out that well because the information that I had was all botched up. And I went and I, I re-Googled it just to make sure I knew exactly what I was talking about. So guys, stay tuned, this is very lit. Actually, let's just get right into it right now. Is Christmas based off psychedelic mushrooms and um, shaman experiences and is it not really based off Saint Nick and Santa Claus and the Catholic Church and this, that, and the third? <laughs> it never is, huh, right? The Catholic Church, very, very slick guys, aren't they? Let's get into the fun stories of how and why psychedelic mushrooms are the explanation for why we celebrate Christmas and Vlogmas Day 24 right now, baby. Christmas Eve, it's Vlogmas Day. I don't even have any mushrooms and tomorrow's Christmas, so. Let's go. All right, let's get right into it. So as the story goes, the Amanita muscaria is the mushroom of choice that is linked with the Christmas stories and a lot of the religious stories. And uh, it looks like this. It looks like this, but there's a lot of mycologists and scientists and experienced psychedelic users that say that the Amanita muscaria is not the most strongest or most potent psychedelic mushroom. But there are also a lot of people that say we lost the, um, the skill to ferment the mushroom the correct way and to digest it the right way to get the correct effects that maybe they used to take. So that is an, ar that is an argument that we lost the, the skill, the tradition in translation or in time. Basically, the Amanita muscaria grows in the North Pole, the North Pole, where it's cold, Siberia, Arctic tribes, and uh, right under pine trees, right? So it's underneath the Christmas pine tree, right? It's underneath the tree. So back in the day, there were shamans, and um, they there's also a belief that the shamans would wear a similar outfit as the Amanita muscaria, but they would gather these mushrooms, and on the winter solstice, they would deliver these mushrooms to the, the, the tribe, everybody in the tribe. And they lived in the Arctic, so there's a lot of snow, cold weather, and the teepee little houses were covered with snow. So the only way to get into the house was to go through the chimney. Right. So now the shaman dressed like Santa Claus, right, dressed like the Amanita Muscaria is coming through the chimney on Christmas. Right. Winter solstice day. Right. OK. Then we're going. And then he hops down in the chimney. He gives his little sock full of uh, mushrooms. Right. So you have your stocking and then he hangs them over the fire to dry over. And um, that is a big part of the argument of that's where Christmas kind of stems from. That's where Santa stems from. And then we can get into the reindeer. Uh, we know that Nate, even right now, even right now, there's tribes in Siberia that hunt, gather, and like ride and tame reindeer and caribou. And uh, we know that's happening right now. So we can only imagine that they were probably doing the same thing thousands and hundreds of years ago. But not only that, they the argument is that sometimes they would give the mushroom to the reindeer and then they would drink the reindeer piss because it was like a way of utilizing the psychedelic components, whatever it means. But that would also mean that the reindeer are getting high and the reindeer are flying around and tripping and stuff like Rudolph with his nose so bright and similar to the Amanita Muscaria. And um, so that's really interesting. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Are you guys convinced? Are you convinced? I know. I kind of was convinced right when I read it, but um, I don't know. Someone's calling me. So yeah, that could be uh that could be all not true. That could be kind of true. That could be maybe uh arbitrarily true, right? It could be correlation doesn't equal causation, right? They could already have been doing that thing and Santa Saint Nick could have been who knows. I don't really know. I tend to believe that's a little bit more realistic than some made up thing by some Catholic institutional religion church that wants to take millions and suppress everybody and oppress us. But I don't know. Luke, you can't say that. I'm sorry. Merry Christmas. Guys, smash that like button, subscribe. Deuces.